All righty then, it's time for a new product featuring Pop-Tart. So after we get to this kind of sandy texture, we're gonna get to the not sexy part. And ranch dressing. Dab a ranch, push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. Here we got a Pop-Tart, guys. That's cool. All right, so what do you get when you mix the two? Well, you gotta stay tuned to find out. Got a little bit of ranch dressing, of course, to the Pop-Tart. And then if we're gonna be a little bit of a bartender here, gotta give it a little shake. Boom. Chicken, ranch, Pop-Tarts. A little bit of saltiness in your life is always good. All right, so now it's actually time to make some chicken pie dough. And how am I gonna go about that? Well, traditional, all the way through. So I have my butter, cold butter, by the way. So I need to mix this until we get the texture of sand. So now you're gonna ask yourself, how are we gonna add the chicken flavoring into it? What's well, actually gonna be the bouillon that you can buy at the store. And so what this is, is just the dried herbs. And so we're gonna incorporate that into the water. And so I've been letting that sit, if you look there to your left there. So after we get to this kind of sandy texture, you can see this. Now we're ready for the next step. So I'm just gonna make a little hole in the center. I'm gonna add in my liquid, first off, the two eggs, get in there. And then this is my chicken water. That's what we're gonna call this chicken water. All right, so not to get whole cans, you're gonna use a fork and you're just gonna move that around. You can already smell the actual chicken flavor. It's kind of time to form the dough. So you'll rub that off, just like so. You can use this or a spoon. So you get this. You wanna get all of it out. And we're gonna go straight onto our surface here. Just gonna mix it till we get to make a little equilibrium here. But you wanna make sure everything is mixed. Your dough color is gonna be this color as well. And you're gonna form it into just like this. All right, so once we now have our little circle, I'm gonna put this into a Ziploc bag. Very, very easy to do. And now it's time to go into a refrigerator. Let that set up for about 30 minutes, okay? Not two, 30 minutes, sorry. Boom. So now it is time to get our high dough out of the refrigerator. It's firm up. So now we're gonna take it out of our Ziploc bag. Very, very easy to do, by the way. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour down right on top and on the bottom. So you're gonna push down. But during this entire thing, I can tell you about some hacks. So now how do we cut a Pop-Tart out of this. All right, so now we're done. All right, so I always keep a Pop-Tart. What I'm gonna do, you can see just like this, I'm gonna place a Pop-Tart right on top. It's gonna, I'm gonna cut off the first. All right, so we get one Pop-Tart, two Pop-Tart, three Pop-Tart. I'm gonna cut this over here. All right, one, two, three. Now we're gonna cut this side off here. So now we have a little bit of a rectangle. All right, guys, pretty easy now. Go over, Boop. and now you actually don't need the pop tart anymore. You're just gonna fold this over. You can go ahead and go down because you know where it's at. Fold this one over just like so. Go where it's at, and for the last one as well. Now, what do we do with our pop tarts? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay. So what you need to do now? You need to get a fork. And you need to poke everything. And the reason for this is just like a pie back home is that when you're cooking it, it actually won't kind of contract on itself. This is how we do a little stuff right here. All right, get your ranch. Do a little dab of ranch right in the center. Dab of ranch, just like so. And a little dab of ranch for the last one. So now whenever you're grabbing your top half, what you want to do, you want to start on one end. And now what we're doing, we're pinching the side because you don't want the actual inside to spew out. And so what I'm doing, I'm holding this up while I'm pinching the sides. Put your fork and a little bit of flour, and now we're just gonna push and pull. Push and pull, push and pull, push and pull, and push and pull. All right, so if we wanna get really, really precise, after we fold it over using our finger, you're just gonna use the back side of that fork to kind of make it more of a rectangle, like I did here. Now we're just gonna use the end, push, pull, push, pull, right into the last one. That what I? That's what some people say. Here we got a Pop-Tart, guys. That's cool. And again, you see what I'm doing here? I'm just kind of pressing in to the sides while I'm keeping the sauce. So you want kind of like a sauce boat. I know that's really weird to say, but it's a sauce boat. Delicately, delicately, delicately. All right, so I'm gonna take this one, put it on the baking sheet. And as you can tell, I have a lot of open space. Okay, I messed up the cutting, so I'm gonna have to recut um, some more so that I'll have enough. You don't have to see that, so you'll see this at the end. All right, so now I'm finished with the last one here. Got my little Angry Bird, he's ready to go, by the way. Just saying that. Angry Birds, I love that little game. And now it's time to go into a freezer, let this sit for 30 minutes. And no, this is not gonna do anything to the buttermilk inside the ranch dressing. So, 
Now it's time to chill. All right, so now it's time to go into the freezer. Sorry. You know how the door sticks sometimes. I'm gonna let that set for 30 minutes. I got my little chicky, chicky, chicky with me. And uh, while y'all are waiting for the next step, uh, I'm gonna go eat me some uh, lunch. All right, so just got back from the freezer. Just wanna show you this really, really quick. So now you can see our Pop-Tarts, they're rock hard. And the reason for this is gonna help to evenly bake the entire thing. But now it's time to go into a preheated oven, 350 degrees for 25 minutes, and make sure to rotate your tray halfway in between. All right, so now I'm gonna go into a preheated oven and let this cook for 25 minutes, and then it's on to the next step. All right, so I have some freshly baked pastries right out of the oven, and you could say that they're not really pastries because they're salty, but while that's now resting, I'm gonna add in my cornstarch because we need to make a little bit of a sauce to go on top, a little bit of ranch dressing, a little bit more, a little bit of green, just like that. And all you gotta do now is mix, guys. A very simple sauce to put on top, and it's gonna give it a great color, and as you can already see, it's gonna be green. All right, so that's the texture that we're going for there, if you can see that. Not too solid, not too liquid, but now it's time to go into a Ziploc bag, and then it's onto the pipetting stage. I'm gonna take some scissors. All you gotta do now is cut off the end, just like that. Now follow me here. So folks, what you'll do, you just make a line. Essentially, this is a coloring book. If I don't do well on this, uh, I'm pretty sure my cousins and my family will disown me. All right, so make you a square. Now this is how we get to our chicken saltiness. All right, so it's gonna set and I'm gonna continue on the next one here. And just to tell you also, it smells just like fried chicken. And you don't have to go all the way to the sides. And again, this does not have to be perfect. I wanna explain this. All right, so just gonna finish up on this last one here. Now, we need to do the same image that is on the box, so I'm gonna add a little bit of salt right to the top, and you see like the difference in between the green. So guys, guess what? We got it. We got the chicken with ranch dressing Pop-Tart, the first ever salty Pop-Tart, by the way. So what I got is, of course, a little packaging. I'm gonna take the Pop-Tart, and because we make such good Pop-Tarts, we only need one. And so now what I'm gonna do, if you can follow me, I'm just gonna put this right into our box, and guess, guess what? Finalize the first ever salty pop tart certified. That's me. And uh, now it's time to taste. All right, so now I'm gonna be adding in pop tarts to our packaging. Do it just like this, and it's off to the shipping department. And now, if we look at the comparison here, guys, it doesn't compare. This is what you can get in the supermarket. I mean, come on, guys, look at the stack. This is homemade. It's a lot fluffier. It looks a lot better. But Trust as always, me. I need to taste test it. And this is my favorite part because I've already tasted it. So maybe. I'm not gonna lie, that is absolutely amazing. The puff, the, the pie crust is amazing. The flavor of the chicken is amazing. The ranch in it is just a dab of ranch. It is absolutely amazing. You see that? That is wonderful. That is all that ranch dressing coming out, chicken flavor, everything. So guys, make sure to share, make sure to subscribe, and you'll find more recipes like that next time. Ciao. And now it's time to add another one to my collection.